What I'm going to do is, um, there's a number of slides that you guys can follow through, but I'm going to go through Genome Studio and explain what that is. Genome Studio is the software that Illumina puts out to analyze your data. So it's really how, how you call your SNPs from the raw data and types of things you need to export to look at and qualify how well that data, um, how good that data is or how good that genotype call is. So I'm just going to shut this down for now. <clears throat> and go to Genome Studio. So this is Gen Genome Studio and if you go to your first page, first of all the software is downloadable from Illumina but they will charge you for it for a little number that allows you to open it. And they, if you're using Illumina, if your lab is using Illumina, they will have access to the software automatically. Otherwise, Illumina charges you about somewhere between $1,500 and $2,000 for the software. So it's not cheap, um, but it depends, depends, again, how close you are to your lab and whether or not you can have ac direct access to it. But one of the reasons we want to show you um, how to use the software is that you need to understand what kind of data is coming out of it and really what questions you want to ask of the people using it if you're not the direct user uh, for that. So with Illumina, actually I'm just going to go back to my slide on this one. The, with Illumina, you um, to open a file, When you, when, you, sorry. when you open a file, it, it's asking you for three different things. So when you start a new project, so you just file new, it asks you for three things. It, you ask for a sample sheet, and this basically comes directly from, from your lab or something you're going to have to set up for your lab um, that the Illumina software pulls out. So it asks for the sample sheet, so it asks, tells you, so what are, the, what are the names of your samples and what, you know, what wells are they when you, when you submit them? Things are usually processed in 96 well plate, where you're going to collect tissue, DNA, extract DNA, usually 96 well plate, send that to your lab, and they're going to send you a bunch of data for each of those. So if you're using our Infinium chip, you're going to get data on 8,784 um, SNP data points um, times the number of samples that you've submitted. Okay, so these these are fairly large data sets. Um, I'm not even sure actually if the, the new Excel Windows 7 can handle, or Windows 2007 can handle that. I'm not sure if the old 2003 can actually handle that volume of data with that many columns and rows on it. So it asks you for the sample sheet. It asks you where is your data, and that's usually in a folder. And then where do you want to, um, basically this is where do you want to put your output files uh, from that. The next window that you open in uh, Genome Studio, and Genome Studio is a fairly simple program. It downloads, it's, you know, auto wizard. It's fairly simple to get at. So the next thing you'll do, so you've loaded your tells you where to find the data. And the next one you're going to see is um, a window to say, what, so what kind of things do you want to look at? And you want to click on, you want a cluster SNP. So a cluster is, um, I'll show you in the next window, basically you get clusters of homozygotes, heterozygotes, and then the alternate homozygote, and that and you have to define those. And they have algorithms that will automatically look at that. What it's really doing is looking at how much red, how much green am I really seeing in my sample, and it'll put that on a scale and, and, and call the genotypes according. It's, it's really not that difficult <laughs> to worry about. And then you can click on calculate um, sample and SNP statistics, and I'll show you some what that means. There's a little check mark at the top that says import cluster file positions. Um, I'm going to leave that unchecked for now and I'll show you, I'll show you why. And it, this is actually a really important check um, to have or, or not to have in the future. Then you hit next and um, actually let me go to Genome Studio now. And you get this. This webinar guy Oh, doesn't go to the other side. This what you get three. You get really five windows, but you can just close them. You get three windows, and it's called and called your workbench. And this is where you can start manipulating um, data. You have 
basically SNPs on the right. So these are the SNPs and the SNPs names. So, so if I expand this, this is the, this is the what SOLCAP has has called their SNPs. They, these represent positions. So SOLCAP SNP, Solanum Lacrosecom, and then a number for the different names. And um, on the bottom left, you have the samples, so you can scroll down. You recognize, I'm sure, some of these names. This is just a, a random set of uh, genotypes that David had picked to try to try to get the genotypes. And what you see here um, on the top left is really the display of these, the combination of these of the data for these two um, these two windows. So what does data look like at SNP? In this case, number 88. Um, for all the samples. 